So over the years, I have tried the Technicolor Cine Style custom profile in my Canon N50, in my EOS M, in my 70D, and I've never really had much luck with it. And the couple problems I always had is, although it does give you the increased dynamic range, when you bring the shadows up, they often end up being so noisy that they're unusable. The other issue is, I find real challenges in color grading that footage. But since the M6 Mark II has come out, I thought I would give this picture profile another try. Right now, we're shooting in the Faithful picture profile, which is what I use for most of my vlogs and cinematography. We are going to switch over to the cine style, and then I'm gonna do a quick grade in post, and we're gonna see how that looks compared to the Faithful profile. All right, we've just switched over to the cine style profile, and I can already see how flat that image has become. It looks completely washed out and gray. The skin tones look quite odd. Of course, it's gonna have to be edited and, and brought back to a usable state in post. Jeez, I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, this has really been the challenge of this picture profile for me. It flattens the image so much that when I get into editing, it's either a massive amount of work to get anything out of it. They've brought up the shadows so much, like when you try to recover those shadows, they become really noisy. After the color grade, I often find that the skin tones are completely lost, but I could see the benefit from a vlogging point of view if you can get this to work. Because as I'm walking, I'm going in and out of shade and full sun. With the standard picture profile, it is very difficult to deal with that sort of situation. I end up all whited out. If this picture profile, this cine style picture profile can actually save some of those highlights and shadows as I come in and out of here. And if I can find a really easy workflow as far as editing goes, this could be a completely usable profile for vlogging. So I can see just looking at the histogram in the footage that I've just shot, that I'm still way overexposing the highlights. So I have now taken this and I'm underexposing by a full stop and we're gonna try to recover all that in post and hope that we haven't blown out the highlights. So it'll be interesting to see if this footage is better than what I just shot. While we bring that exposure up, when we bring that footage up, do we get all kinds of noise in the shadows or does it look all right? All right, just an attempt to get an apples to apples comparison. This is the faithful picture profile on this side. I've shot it in normal exposure. Uh, I haven't done any exposure compensation and it's standard straight out of the camera. And this is the cine style profile, just with what I would call a five minute color grade. So basically what that means is I want to be able to color grade a 10 minute vlog in five minutes. Uh, for more advanced cinematography, that's obviously not the case, but if you're trying to put out content daily or every other day, it needs to be pretty quick. So there's a five minute color grade, which just involves putting the cine style LUT, which reverses the S curve in the cine style profile, and then just doing a slight tweaking of sort of shadows, midtones, and highlights and exposure, and that's it. So let me know which of these two you think looks better.